Today we're talking about how to stream with a low-end PC. So this morning I woke up and I realized that I needed to make a video. But the problem was I didn't have any ideas in my head. But then I remembered that a lot of you guys wanted me to make a tutorial about how to stream with a bad computer. And that's what we're doing in this video. <laughs> See you guys, I'll listen to your suggestions. Anyway, today we're taking a look at the best settings for low-end PCs. But if you're interested in the Streamlabs version, boy do I have good news for you. Click on the top right corner of the screen if you want to see that one. But if you're interested in the one where I show you guys how to stream with bad internet, the good news just keeps Keep on coming. I actually already made that one as well. Click on the card on the top right corner. Enough clicking for now, let's dive into this tutorial. Okay, the first thing you're gonna need is obviously open up the OBS Studio. After that, go to this settings menu over here. The first thing you're gonna do is head to this video tab. And over here, you're gonna lower your base canvas resolution to 720p. And you're gonna do the same for the output scaled resolution. The downscale filter, put that bad boy at Langsos. And for the common FPS values, put that bad boy at 30. Press apply and let's move on to the output tab now. Make sure the output mode says advanced. And then go to the streaming tab. Alright, for the encoder, if you have a good CPU, but you don't have a good enough GPU, I would suggest sticking with this option, the software x264 option, which will basically allow your processor to encode the stream and then send it to the streaming service. But if you happen to have a good GPU, but a not so good CPU, I would suggest sticking with this option, the Nvidia option or the AMD option, if you have an AMD option. But for now, my GPU is really good, so I'm gonna be selecting that one. Be sure to check enforced stream service encoder settings. Do not check the rescale output because we're not gonna be rescaling anything since we're gonna be streaming 720 and also we're gonna be gaming in 720p. Now for the rate control make sure this says VBR and for the bitrate type 1500 and for the maximum bitrate type 3000. This option will basically allow OBS to choose a bitrate between these two values which is amazing. The keyframe interval keep that bad boy too. For the preset I would suggest keeping it at performance. Do not take look ahead but do take psycho visual tuning. Be sure to press apply and then press ok. Now if you selected this option I'm not just gonna leave you hanging I'm gonna tell you what to do. Do take in full streamer service encoder settings. Do not take the rescale output. For the rate control if you selected this option right here go ahead and select ABR which is average bitrate and put that bad boy at 2000. Do not use custom buffer size. But for the keyframe interval, keep that bad boy at 2. And for the CPU usage, keep that one at super fast. For the profile, keep it at high and do not change anything else. Press apply and then press OK. And, and now you can press the start streaming button and actually start streaming. And this right here will wrap it up for today's quick tutorial about how to stream with a low-end PC. Hit the like button so you help this video reach as many people as possible and possibly help them out. Join our community by hitting that subscribe button. Also, join our Discord server. The link for that will be in the description. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.